Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today we have another episode of my Will It Play series. We're going to see how well the Intel HD 5500 can play Fallout 4. So let's get started. Before we go over the benchmark results, let's go over the specifications of my system first. For the processor of an Intel Core i5-5200U clocked at 2.2 GHz with 12 GB of 1600 MHz DDR3 RAM with the Intel HD 5500 graphics unit. For the benchmarks with Fallout 4, I attempted to run the game at a 1920x1080, 1600x900, and 1366x768 resolutions. At each resolution, I attempted to run the game at the preset graphic settings of ultra, high, medium, low, and also a final test, setting everything to as low as possible because the low setting doesn't turn anti-aliasing or ambient occlusion off. So a total of 15 different benchmarks were attempted with this game. And the reason why I kept saying attempted is because on most of the tests, the game would just not play. The graphics driver continually crashed, and the weird part, as you will see, is that even though there doesn't appear to be an order to which, the, which settings ran and which didn't, the results were repeatable. It was always the same settings that ran and always the same settings that failed, so I guess that means it's actually scientific somehow. At 1920 by 1080 medium, low, and actual lowest were able to run, but at a maximum average of barely 10 frames per second. At 1600 by 900 low and actual lowest were able to run, but only for averages around 15 FPS. At 1366 by 768 medium and actual lowest ran, but not low, with medium getting around a 15 FPS average and actual lowest getting around a 21 FPS average with severe stuttering. So will the Intel HD 5500 play Fallout 4? No. The mobile integrated graphics can't handle this game. So if you're in the market with a laptop with the HD 5500 or you have this GPU and want to buy Fallout 4, just don't. So that's it for this episode of Will It Play. Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike it if it was more dip disappointing than the Apple Newton PDA. Also, you can please leave a comment down below for any suggestions that you have for future episodes of Will It Play, whether it be games or other integrated graphic systems that you want me to check out. Subscribe to stay up to date on future episodes of Will It Play and other tech-related videos that I produce, including a series that I have coming up on six Galax graphics cards. So yeah, that's, that's coming soon, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.